Hello and welcome to Georgetown Prep in Bethesda, Maryland for a night of basketball benefiting the Shepherd Foundation. Game one of our doubleheader features the Georgetown Visitation Cubs and the Holy Cross Tartans. Hi basketball fans, Jeremy Huber here with Brian Doyle. And again, Coach, uh, an interesting one tonight as we're going to see some very good basketball, especially in this first game. Absolutely. Uh, imagine traffic on the Beltway. We both fought through it. There's been a little bit of a delay, but I think it'll be worth it with a great doubleheader lined up for us tonight. Let's go ahead and jump right into our player, our keys to the game in this one for these two squads. And again, we will go ahead and start off with Georgetown Visitation and Coach, uh, the keys in this one. Well, I think uh, Visitation really wants to get up and down the floor. They're going to try to make it a full court game, put a lot of pressure uh, baseline to baseline, really control the tempo. They've got strong post players as well. But I think if they can control the pace and get their fast break going, I think they'll be in good shape. Let's look at some players to watch for this Georgetown Visitation team. We'll go ahead and start off with one of their top players in Maeve Carroll. Maeve Carroll, you can see uh, we talked about their post play. That's where their depth and experience is. 12 points, 8 rebounds a game. If you look at uh, all their post players, they all do a good job on the boards. She's certainly a key for them. Carol, an all-met selection last year, honorable mention. Our second player to watch for Georgetown visitation in this one, a really interesting player in Ellie Mitchell. Yeah, I look at her again. There you go. You look at the rebounds. Uh, we saw 8.0. Now we see 9.6. We are getting ready for the national anthem here, uh, Jeremy. Mitchell, a good player. We'll get the rest of our players right after this. With pride, our national anthem, let's continue our look at the players to watch for this Georgetown visitation team. Our third player to watch, an outside shooter for the Cubs, and that coach is Kristen George. Yeah, she gives them the inside-outside threat. You saw the first two players we profiled both do a good job on the boards. She's kind of the perimeter piece of the puzzle for them. Really some nice balance in that starting group for visitation. George committed to play for Catholic. Let's go over and look at our keys to the game for the Academy of the Holy Cross. Obviously, they want to defend. Uh, I think they need to control pace. Part of doing that is defending and rebounding. And they want to look to run when they can. They'll probably be selective on how they do that. They want to look for opportunities to really attack, attack and transition. I don't think they want it to be quite the track meet that visitation does. Uh, Coach Witherspoon's teaching point there is be quick, but don't hurry. Yeah, that's a big one there. You don't want to get too far out of ahead of yourself against the good visitation team. Let's look at the players to watch in this one for the for Academy of the Holy Cross. And again, our first player to watch for this team for this team is Meg Chufa. Again, an inside presence. Another inside presence. A lot of good rebounders in this game. Uh, close to a double-double average there. Uh, I think the starting group is going to be really key for Holy Cross. Maybe don't have quite the depth that Visitation does. Our second player to watch in this one for the Tartans, it's Bria Fuller. Yeah, she does a nice job on the perimeter. You can see her. Uh, got a traditional guards number, number one. So if they're going to handle their pressure, I think Fuller's going to be a key to that. Uh, you can see she does a little bit of everything, scores, does a great job rebounding from her spot on the perimeter, also distributes the ball. And our third player to watch for Holy Cross is their other person in the backcourt. That would be Madison Boyd. You see a picture of her right there. Of course, Boyd, pretty good player for this squad. So, again, should be interesting to see with this, uh, these two teams exactly what we're going to get in this game. You see the scoring averages there, nine points a game, pretty good, Coach. Yeah, good balance for both teams. I don't think either team has a, a player scoring, you know, 20 a game. They probably have players that are capable of doing that, but uh, two pretty balanced teams. 
Quickly look at our starting lineups in this one. We start off with Georgetown Visitation. Visitation will be going with Mitchell, Carroll, George, Greenville, and Webster. On the other side of things for Holy Cross, they will start Fuller, Boyd, Beckham, Mazzotti, and Chufa. So almost ready to go here. Holy Cross in the gray, Visitation in the green. We are underway here at Georgetown Prep for what we hope to be is a great night of basketball. This shot up and good, so very quickly, Holy Cross getting that transition opportunity they were looking for, Coach. Always nice to get in the paint. Fuller gets off to a good start for Holy Cross, and the steal as well. And Fuller making her presence felt early on in this game. She'll get the ball back, and good movement by them, and she'll pull it back out. Coach Witherspoon talked about how excited his girls were for this game. I think it's very important that they get off to a good start. That they have, and Fuller averaging near nine points a game, right around eight and a half, so... Again, she's bringing it. Yeah, you said that, Coach. They really were excited about the game, and he was proud they actually were able to go knock off Carroll and a three-pointer banked in. That one goes in by Beckham, so a quick lead for Holy Cross. Off the glass, an early Christmas present. <laughs> Five-nothing Holy Cross. These two teams faced off last year in a pretty close game considering how Holy Cross is season not that great. This one will be thrown out of bounds, and... Right now, visitation struggling mightily. Yeah, the first half, uh, first minute couldn't have gone any better for Holy Cross. Really off to that quick 5 nothing start. They don't look rattled at all. Yeah, about a seven-point game last year between these two teams, despite visitation winning the ISL with a 27-4 record. Holy Cross struggled to a 6-21 mark, but a seven-point win for visitation in that contest. So, again, we've seen before the tight, the Tartans can play this team tough. Three-pointer up and off, no good. Rebound fought for and pulled in by visitation. That was a good look. Just didn't fall. So quickly down. Shot up off the back iron. No good. And there we see Mitchell going to be pushed out of bounds. A foul going to go on Holy Cross's Muldoon. But you see some of that athleticism there from Franklin. Mitchell, excuse me. out top. Webster dishes it off. She'll get it back top of the key. Thought about a three. And she'll bring it back out. Three put up. That one around and out. No good. Rebound fought for and grabbed by Muldoon. We talked about both of these teams having uh, good players on the boards. They're showing it so far. Good ball movement. Shot blocked nice right block. there by Carroll. Has it taken away for a second and coming back to grab it is Greenville. Carroll, nice dish off. Two-man game with Mitchell, but she has her shot knocked away. Fuller will have it stolen. So there's that be quick to and hurry, not working, and now they'll pull it back out. Still looking for the icebreaker for visitation. Carroll will slow things down top of the key. Holy Cross doing a pretty good job in transition defense so far. Always a key, and a jump ball will be called, and the possession arrow will keep it with visitation. See if they can run uh, one of their favorite inbounds plays Jeffrey here, get a bucket Moore, off of it. Two, Ellie Walsh. Talked about that transition defense being key against visitation. Mitchell dish it off, corner three, look around and out, no good. So the lid still on the bucket for Georgetown visitation. Holy Cross will pull it back now. Three will be taken. That one wow. good. I thought it was a little quick, but she knocked it down. Julia Mazzotti, 4-3, and the lead now out to 8 nothing for Holy Cross. Jeremy, I think timeouts can sometimes be overrated, but I, I feel one coming soon if uh, visitation doesn't get something going. They're talking to Coach McCarthy before the game today, my team's young, and right there they'll get there it to go. their upperclassmen and Maeve Carroll for the first bucket of the game. Here's a little full-court pressure, a little 2-2-1 uh, two -two pressure. See how Holy Cross handles it. Looks like, yep, got a double dribble. And that's a something you would see, Coach. You see a team sometimes that likes to press when they can't make buckets, they can't press. Obviously, that's uh, one of the keys is uh, Holy Cross's defense. If they can do a great job defending, they limit visitation's opportunities to press them. A little 1-2-2, two, 3-2 two, two type zone from Holy Cross. Bat it up. Some contact there. Carroll. That'll go out of bounds and... 
The palms go up for Madison Boyd. Looked like she caught an elbow from Carroll in that fight for the loose ball. Carroll, nice move. Nice and bucket. the senior trying to get her team back into this one early on. Now 8 4. You see that soft spot in their zone. They hit it right there at the free throw line. Gonna say that goes off of Carroll. Actually, going to say a foul, I believe. Yep, it'll be a foul on Carroll, her first. Team first. Jump ball and. That'll keep the possession with Holy Cross. Both teams are scrapping pretty good out here. Talked about it before. Visitation, very good team. Holy Cross trying to get back to some of their teams in the past. Three up off the back iron, no good. And some numbers here for Visitation out in front. George with the layup attempt, no good. Batted around and pulled in. Back by Boyd. You know what, even though they didn't score, they did get a good look. Corner three, that's up and good. Knocks it down. Mazzotti again with the three. She's got six, both on three-point buckets. And I think if you're Coach Witherspoon of Holy Cross, you can't get a better start than this. Got active hands in their zone. Three up off the iron, no good. Mitchell fights nice for job. it, puts it up, a lot of contact. This will be knocked out of bounds by the player who took the original three in Webster. I looked at Coach Mar McCarthy after she hit the floor there. There might have been a little contact. You're right. But with the dead ball, a chance to put some pressure on for visitation. There's a trap. Here we go. Creates the turnover. Is George able to pick it up? She's their outside shooter extraordinaire. Shot up, there's a nice shot from the outside. Sydney Love Baker able to knock that one down and cut into the deficit. Gives him another chance to press here. Let's see how they handle this. Ball lost and visitation turning up the tempo just a little bit. George down on the block, knocked away. Holy Cross looking to run. Three-pointer, top of the key, off the iron, no good. Rebound pulled down. Holy Cross will reset. Another three. Another three. And Mazzotti hits again. And there's that timeout you were looking for, Brian, as they'll go ahead and take a timeout for visitation. And right now, that might just be a cool off, Julia Mazzotti. Absolutely. I feel like visitation for the last minute or two got that uh, press going a little bit, got the game going up and down a little bit, but... Sometimes in the game of basketball, it all comes down to making shots, and that shot resulted in, a, in the timeout from visitation. Julia Mazzotti, nine points. She's a junior, 5'8 junior guard. She's got some interest from both Sacred Heart and Cornell. So She can shoot the ball. Yeah. Of course, we mentioned this before. Last time these two teams met last year, about this time, as visitation beat Holy Cross 43-36, to and Talking to Coach McCarthy about that game a little bit before, you know, he said there were just, you know, some things just don't score a lot last year, especially, and that became an issue this year. Uh, visitation pick up their scoring a little bit, up 54.8 points per game. As a result of that transition game, I'm sure. Those easy buckets. Sorry, Jeremy. They've got a lot of looks from right there at the free throw line, the elbow. Ellie Mitchell able to knock that one down. Mitchell, an intriguing prospect for a lot of folks with length and guard skills. That one off the iron, no good. Visitation. We're going to have. Call to travel. Holy Cross putting some pressure on the rebounder, trying to prevent them uh, visitation from getting their running game going was effective that time. Foul line jumper, no good. Shot partially blocked by Carroll. Visitation going the other way, looking to make it a one-possession game. Shot up off the glass and good. So Sydney Love Baker coming off the bench. She's got five quick points, and it's now a three-point game. Well, we see the whole game plan for visitation at work right there. Transition scores and pressure. And it's pretty apparent, Brian, that when Holy Cross is keeping those shots from going down for visitation, they're fine because that press just can't come out. 
Absolutely, the best way to stop a press is defend. Well, Baker brought it across the timeline again. Really good softball player for visitation. That off the iron, no good. Rebound, though, pulled in by Sheehy. Carroll, she'll pull it back. Remember, folks, this game being played with a shot clock, 30-second clock. Shot blocked there, but they'll cycle it back out. It's a nice cut and a nice pass there. Another nice cut to the basket. For a walk, and they get it. The visitation bench pretty quickly thought those extra steps were taken by a daisy. So three-point game. Just over a minute to go in the first quarter. Exciting one so far. Really want to keep an eye on this press offense. There's another steal by visitation and a turnover. I think Visitation wants to try to create that chaotic pace. You can see it right there. Uh, steal, turnover, steal, turnover. Julianne Greenville picks up the foul there. <laughs> Fuller dumps it inside. This will be taken away. So again, and there are fouls going to be called. And that one you, one you don't want to give up. And it's Mazzotti giving up her first, and that one, I'm sure coaches like you, the bane of your existence, those fouls 90 feet away from the bucket. Absolutely, although Holy Cross seems to be trying to put a lot of pressure on visitation when they get a rebound or a turnover, try and prevent that quick break. Here it comes again. Greenville will slow it back, some good transition D. Mitchell, kick out, three-point look. That one's no good. Muldoon will chase it down. There's a nice kick out of the double team by Mitchell. Boyd over into the corner. That's going to be over the head of Mazzotti. And a turnover back to Visitation. Let's see if Visitation holds it for one or if they just push it down and get a quick one. It's funny. As you mentioned, Holy Cross not shy giving Visitation some of their own medicine when it comes to pressure. Here it is right here. Look at that. Thrown away and... Looking down, Greenville kind of coming up lame. They'll get her out of the game. I don't know. I think she came down someone else's foot. I think Coach Witherspoon doesn't mind playing fast. This was more concerned about taking care of the basketball, and as we said uh, in the intro, be quick but don't hurry. So far, they're doing a pretty good job of it. They have had a few struggles against the press, but. Mazzotti, pretty quickly to Boyd. Will attack the bucket. Makes it over Carroll. So strong move by Boyd. Extend the lead back to five. Five seconds. Carroll will pass it away. And the Cubs don't get the shot off. So after one period of play, a nice start for the Academy of the Holy Cross. They lead by five. Well, a great start for the Tartans. I don't think Coach Witherspoon could have really drawn it up any better, especially the first three or four minutes. Uh, game plan worked to a tee. We'll see if they can sustain it. That's going to be the big question. Uh, we did talk about the depth of both teams. I think uh, visitation has significant depth. Holy Cross still looking to establish that. So that could be a factor as this game moves along. Let's take a break. 16-11, Holy Cross on top.